07, right before spring break. Hopefully you have an amazing plans for spring break and hopefully you will be doing something for Easter. And once we see you, hopefully you will do so much, so much, so much better. And in those little backpacks that your advisory is probably giving to you today, please take them. It has a COVID test inside of the bag, so you can take it during spring break and then you can come back to school. Because we are not getting COVID tested this Friday since we have a very short day. Bye, Jaguars! Mrs. Girl, do you want to hear a joke? I do. Okay. Why did the obtuse angle go to the beach? I don't know why. Because it's over 90 degrees. <laughs> Jags, it's Ryan Ortega. I am your SFIM sports reporter. We have a lot to share today. Let's get right to it. Today, let's start off with some basketball. The Lakers are 31 and 47 on the season. It has been a rough year so far with so many injuries. But Anthony Davis came back April 1st after messing up his MCL, and LeBron James with knee, with knee soreness is projected to come back by the playoffs. Russell Westbrook is the only one that has not has not been injured, but he is not the best player. Once in a while, he has a good game. The Lakers are looking to get into the play-in tournament by winning their, their at least three out of the last four games. The Clippers are doing well in the season. They, they, they have been doing good in the last stretch with Reggie Jackson and Paul George leading their team without Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is not projected to come back this year, but they, they might have a good run in the playoffs with just Paul George and Reggie Jackson. Next, let's do some baseball. Baseball comes back soon, and with spring training, there has been a lot of changes in the teams. But for the most part, teams are sticking to their main starters. Baseball will be back with a swing on April 7th. Don't miss it. The NFL has been heating up lately with the biggest trade so far being being either Devontae Adams to the Raiders or Russell Wilson to the Broncos. Football season doesn't start until s September, so this means there's more to come in the offseason. This was Sports with Ryan. Hope you enjoy the rest of our show. Thank you. So it's uh, April Fool's Day, and we decided to pull a little prank on Mr. Mayorga. So it's the beginning of class, and we're in Mr. Ortega's classroom right now. Period six, reverse week. Yeah, it's reverse week. So let's see if he notices. <laughs> Oh yeah, our period Zeus is, is Miss Fitzgerald. I need things for in there. So, uh, so my class, they're hiding back here. Uh, we don't know if he's gonna come in here. We hope he does. You guys were still sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Ashley, we're gonna talk about the music club. Okay, so what, what made you want to make the club? Well, I saw that there was a lot of interest in music from some of the students, and we also have some students who are very gifted musically, so I thought it's the perfect opportunity to offer a new club. Uh, what are we learning in the club? We are gonna learn how to play instruments. We have another coach who's working with me, and we will be studying guitar and piano. Do you have any other future plans for the club? Uh, we also want to hopefully learn songwriting and maybe you guys in the music club will get to learn how to write a song. That's all. Hello Jags, my name is Martha Gutierrez and I am back with another quote of the week as usual. But before I do my usual quote of the week, 
Uh, I just want to say to our viewers on our YouTube channel, thank you for taking time out of your day and watching our amazing YouTube videos. And of course, our SFIM students, thank you for always trying your best and never giving up. But back to my quote, which is, it is the ability to bring out the best in others that makes you a leader. Sagaru. To put this quote in another way, it is the proficiency that comes out of people which makes you a leader because you bring out their comfort zone. Bye, Jax! So since Easter is coming up, we decided to do a little Easter egg hunt and I gathered some, some of my friends and here are they. And so I hid the eggs all around this little spot right here in the front and they're hidden everywhere. Maybe you could see some, maybe you can't. And so the rules are that there's 17 eggs and you guys do not open them. If they're open, oh well. Do not open them until we come back together. No fighting for an egg, please. Yeah, guys, no fighting. Yeah, guys. No fighting. Yeah, Lola. 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 And... Step back. <laughs> Ready, set... <laughs> Just say it. Just go. One, two, go. <laughs> Jaguars, always remember to be prompt, prepared, product productive, and polite. Bye bye. That's all, folks.